we playing, Will? <laughs> it's called Hiders and Seekers. It's like hide and seek, but instead of one person searching, we split into teams. So it's me and Rosie against you and Archie. Yep. We'll be the Seekers and you can be the Hiders. We'll leave while you decide where to hide. About the playground or the beaver dam? Hey, caramba! Hmm, I wonder. <laughs> Archie, you were listening to us, weren't you? That's how you and Will knew where we were hiding. Well, just a little bit, perhaps. Maybe. Right. Well, you go and tell Will we're playing this game properly. Come on, Raggles. I've got an idea. Are we making sandcastles, Rosie? No, Raggles. We're going to play a little trick on Will and Archie. We'll use these flags instead of speaking. It's called using code. Hmm. Each coloured flag means a different place. Pink means hide at the playhouse, yellow means hide at Big Bears, and green means hide at Will and Holly's. So, instead of saying where we're going to hide, we show each other. Brilliant! Ready to play a proper game of hiders and seekers? This time, you go round the corner and count while we decide where to hide. with only flag waving. They're using a code, like secret agents. Oh, cool. Found, Found you. you. Huh? But how did you? We're the best code breakers in the world, Raggles. <laughs> That's how. <laughs> and now it's our turn to hide. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Found you! Oh, how come you found us so quickly? Did you spy on us? Of course not. Hmm, okay. Well, now it's our turn to seek, and we'll find you even faster. What secret code shall we use next, Rosie? Hmm, how about hand signals? Hand up means hide at the orchard, finger on our nose means hide at the beaver dam, and waggling our fingers on our heads means hide at the showground. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. The showground. Come on. Found you. you. What? But <laughs> we are the best, amigo. No code can crack us. We're the code breakers! Whoa! <laughs> so it's our turn to hide again. Come on, Archie. Hi, Rosie. Hi, Raggles. Did Will and Archie find you? I told them you were at my house. You told hmm? them? Uh, yes. Uh, wasn't I supposed to? Never mind, Big Bear. It's fine. Whew. That's all right then. You know. The funniest thing, I just found my hosepipe and funnel behind a bush in the picnic area. <laughs> who would have been using those? I think I might know who. 
And I think it's about time we caught them out. <laughs> no sign of Will and Archie yet. I'm going to send out a scented code. They can't miss this one. Oh, it does smell like donuts. What if Raggles and Rosie aren't coming? Oh, and what if they really are donuts? <gasps> oh, oh, no! no! We did send out lots of codes to tell you there were donuts, and you did say you were the best code breakers in the world. <laughs> we saved you these, though. But you can only have them if you promise to play fair next time. We will, we promise. Sorry, Rosie. Sorry, Raggles. Sorry, amigos. <laughs> Yummy breakfast, Raggles. Thank you. Happy to help, Rosie. Busy, busy, busy. Raggles? Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Morning, Raggles. What are you doing to the tutor? Oh, hi, Manny. I'm washing it for Rosie. You're being very helpful this morning, Raggles. Yes, Rosie. I am being very helpful, aren't I? Wow. Who is he talking to? Norm's a gnome. He rewards anyone who's been really good and helpful. Mm. And I am being very good mm. and helpful. Norm the Gnome? Look in my book if you don't believe me. Norm can appear at any time and reward anyone who is doing good deeds. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Bluebird, I'm Norm. Oh, you can laugh if you want, Manny, but I'm going to do good deeds all day long. And when Norm rewards me, you're all going to look very silly. Look out, Big Bear! The birds are back! Oh, not again! Shoo! Shoo! Oh, they're not even ripe yet. If we can just keep the birds off until tonight, the raspberries will ripen in this sunshine and taste delicious. I've got a good idea. Follow me, Will. Um, there. Now it's got a face. And here's its, its hair. <laughs> Ta-da! We've made our bird scarer. Bird scarer? <laughs> Told you! You won't scare birds with that! Shoo! What you need is expertise. Proper equipment. And an eye for design. We'll make you a proper bird scarer, won't we, Manny? <laughs> oh, that's what I call a bird scarer. Thank you. This does look very, uh, scary. Oh, yes, Big Bear. It'll fool anyone. Good luck, Norm. <laughs> Big Bear! I've bought the jam jars! Oh! 
Hello, Rosie. Do you like my new bird scarer? That must be what Raggle saw. Big Bear, where did you get your bird scarer? Bluebird and Manny made it for me. But I don't think it's working. Oh, shoot! Shoot! It looks as though someone's been playing a joke on poor Raggles. Go on. Shoot! <laughs> looks like Bluebird and Manny's bird scarer doesn't work either. No, the only thing it did is fool Raggles. Maybe if we made the scarer look even more like Norm the Gnome, it would work better. Good idea, Holly. Let's take it to the studio. We'll be right back, Big Bear. Shoot. Bye, Rosie. Shoot. There. Now Big Bear can move it around. If this doesn't scare those birds, nothing will. Come on, let's try it out. Shoot. Shoot. Thank you for helping, Raggles. Mm, that's okay, Big Bear. Maybe Norm will come back if I carry on helping. Um, Raggles, about Norm. <coughs> that's funny. What's scaring the birds? Norm! Oh! One new Norm the Gnome bird scarer, Big Bear. A bird scarer? I knew that. Well, thanks, Rosie. Raggles, did you really think it was Norm? Oh, of course not. Well, maybe for a minute. Norm the bird scarer really <laughs> works. It's time to get picking. More raspberries, anyone? Yes, please. Wow. Sorry we tricked you, Raggles. Oh, that's okay, Manny. Without Norm the Gnome, we wouldn't be having any raspberries. Three cheers for Norm. Hip, hip. Hooray! <laughs>